What's going on guys? Welcome back to Sneaker Talk and today, today we're going to go see if the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Statics are sitting in stores at the mall. So we're heading over to Scarborough Town Center in Toronto to see if they have them at the Foot Action, the Champs, the Foot Locker and I'll be there with my girlfriend Natty who's uh, going to be doing some Boxing Week shopping as well. She'll be streaming or I don't know if she'll be streaming right away but she's working on getting a gaming computer built and we have to buy her a monitor at Best Buy. So a little shopping vlog with Natty today. I'm excited and uh, today I'll be wearing a very special pair of sneakers. These beautiful shoes right here, the Adidas Alpha Edge 4D. My very first 4D sneaker and Adidas gifted me these just in time for Christmas. I love you Adidas. Thank you so much. Retail price on these is like 450 Canadian dollars, so $500 after tax. I am so, so happy and grateful and fortunate to have these in my collection. I want to review these on my channel, but I don't know how these feel yet after a typical day's wear. So, so I shall be conducting my market research today by wearing these the entire day while we're shopping at the mall and gonna compare it to how like boost feels on feet and some other adidas silhouettes so if you guys want to see my review of the alpha edge 4d subscribe to the channel hit that bell as well if you haven't yet already and uh, yeah with that said let's get going to the mall So we're just getting to Scarborough Town Center now. We're at the Walmart entrance to the mall. Yes, this is the Walmart that we did the uh, $100 outfit challenge at like two years ago. Yes, malls in Canada have Walmarts. There's, there's Walmarts in malls, it's a thing. So while we're here at the mall, I'm gonna show you guys all of the uh, sneaker stores here and see if they do have the Yeezys. We're not gonna really do anything in Walmart, but if you guys do want a uh, Walmart outfit challenge video again, like a $100 Walmart outfit challenge, let me know. And one thing I have to be really cautious about is people walking around me because this is my first time wearing the 4Ds. They're $500 retail after tax, guys. Like, I'm not trying to get them messed up on the first day. That would suck. So the very first store we're gonna go to is Foot Locker, and so uh, yeah, let's go see what they have. Let's start off in the House of Hoops section with all of the Jordans and Nike basketball sneakers. So here's a look at the uh, LeBrons that they got. They got these ones that just retroed not too long ago. I know the homie uh, Shumanati in Atlanta, he just picked these up. These are really, really nice. I like these a lot. That gold zoom midsole right there. Golden line right there. Really, really nice details. No sale though, of course, because these just dropped $235. We got some acronym press vibes with the uh, that pink and the neon green on these LeBrons right here. Pretty crazy. Check these out. These are probably one of the best Black Friday steals right now. The Kyrie One Lows. $100 or 70 US for these bad boys. Now, it looks like they have a lot of sizing here too. This is size 8.5. Better sizing than that Von Mills. Here's a look at the KDs and Paul George's that they have. Got some Kobe One Crotros right here in this like Lakers colorway. $200 or one, uh, 140 US. And they have a few of the uh, white and red colorways here as well too. Really, really nice. 200 Canadian or 140 US for these Kobe 1 Pro Tros. Here's a look at some of the Jordans and Nikes that they got. They got the uh, Jordan 11s for $200, 140 US for those ones. They got the uh, the Utility Air Force Ones. Got some of the uh, foam posits, the pennies. Nothing too crazy. Ooh, we got this golden colorway of the Air More Monies. In terms of Jordan selection, here's a look at what we got. We got some threes, we got some fives. We got the Mocha threes that just came out. They got them for regular retail price here. Really, really like these shoes. I'm happy that they brought these out again. After after I think almost more than 10 years. It's been a long time since these came out originally. And I know that these Jordan 6s just came out as well. I think Seth Fowler got these sent to him by Jordan brand. So shout out to Seth and also congratulations on uh, getting married or your proposal. We got the Jordan 8 South Beaches essentially on sale for 25% off. That's really good. We also got the Chlorophyll 3s. These are just, put these in the garbage, man. These are garbage. We got the uh, Jordan Legacy 312s, 180 for these ones. And these ones are going for 25% off. They also have this colorway for 25% off. Here is a look at the Adidas section for you guys. There's a lot of really good stuff on sale here compared to Von Mills. $100 for all the colorways of the Young 96. We got these new ones that just came out. I think they're called the Asterix or something like that. They did some cool campaign for those shoes. I'm um, over here. We got the Ultra Boost section. 25% off. Oh my gosh. 50% off for the Clima Cool Ultra Boost. Yo, that's an insane, insane steal. That's 130 Canadian or like 90 US. That's a steal. We also got the, uh, the metal pack. We got the gold ones here for $200 Canadian. We got the bronze and we also got the silver up here. We got the reflective as well for $200. So that's a look at the Foot Locker at Scarborough Town Center. Next up, we're going to go over to Champ Sports and see if they have them there. They also have a giant Adidas section inside of Champ, so 
hoping they have from there. All right, Champ Sports is next, and my friend is actually the manager at this location now, so congrats to him on the promotions. They got a massive Boxing Day sale out front. So here's a look at the Adidas sneakers. What a, quite a few things on sale. If you guys want to see a like video on all the shoes on sale on the website, I'll leave it linked down below. We just dropped that earlier today. Here's a look at the uh, the Ultra Boost that they got. Not as nice of a selection compared to Foot Locker, I have to say. This is a pretty good price right here. They got the uh, EQTs for $69.99. They also got these Alpha Bounces. These are crazy. These are like Grinch sneakers right here. And I just checked with the employees, another customer was holding it, but they do have Statics in store at Champs. This is my first look at them in hand, and they are really, really nice. I'm still in shock that they have these here. Are they worth buying? Let's talk about that at the end of the video and have a little discussion. But yeah, Static Yeezys are sitting. They said they have a, quite a few sizes available too, and uh, retail price is pretty expensive, 300 plus tax. Well worth it, I think. All right, success. We bought two pairs of Yeezys today. I'm super, super happy we were able to buy two pairs today. I didn't get just one for myself. I also got one for my sister, who's gonna pay me back, but my sister got her first ever pair of Yeezys, and those are her most expensive sneakers she's ever bought. So I think we're gonna maybe make a video with her and talk about her brand new pickup, because I think that's pretty cool. But now we're gonna hit up Foot Action and Adidas. So let's go check out those stores and see what they have. that they have. They have a lot of the stuff here that other stores have. They got the uh, Jordan 7 Lowe's on sale for 25% off. And uh, ooh, Wild Natty has appeared. I have to get her opinion on some shoes. So these are the, uh, do you know what these are called? I think I know what they are, but I don't want to embarrass them. Do you know the number or the nickname? Concords. You're close. You were so close. Do you like 11s at all? Yeah, Would you wear those? Uh, I don't think it's really my style. Mm -hmm. How about these Air Jordan 8s? Yeah. Any good? Depends on the outfit. Yo, I don't think I could. Yo. I don't think I could pull them off. Mm -hmm. How about these? I know. I know you could pull these off right here. The snow flake Jordan eights. No, I don't think you can. <laughs> Not many people can. But what do you think about those? Like a, a snowflake Christmas theme sneaker. Depends on the occasion. All right. So over here we have a bunch of older releases on display. We got the 14s, 8s, 7s, 12s, 11s, and 6s. All right. So next up we have the Adidas section here. Oh, check it out. We got the Yeezys sitting here as well, okay, okay, okay. They even put like wrapping stuff or whatever on the bottom so it doesn't get dirty. Very smart, very smart. I uh, once saw the 4Ds at Foot Action in uh, Eden Center and everyone was touching them so much that they were brown. They had the brown 4D upper. <laughs> It's messed up. So, rating out of 10 on the static Yeezys, what would you rate these? You don't like the translucent stripe? A 6 out of 10? So you like the bourbon chicken more? <laughs> so here's a quick look at the rest of the Adidas section. The sales online are really good, but there's some decent selection here. Nothing too crazy though that sticks out. These might be some of the best pairs here on sale. The metal pack, but these are available everywhere. On sale for $200, down from $250. Here's a look at the Reebok and Converse. We got some Vans here. No deconstructed Vans, but they do have the uh, Japan type. And I'm looking forward to wearing these. We're gonna go to Japan tomorrow. This is gonna be a cool shoe to wear in Japan. Air Max TNs, I love these. They brought out the OG colorways this year. Here, the blue, the red, and I've never seen this colorway before. And we're heading over to the men's Nike section right now, but check these out. They got some cool Air Force One lows. Holographic trim on the stitching right here. Really, really cool. And then on the booty, got the holographic Nike Air print. Looking like a shiny Charizard card. The Adidas women's section, $200. Not too bad, I like these a lot. All right, last up in foot action, we have the Nike section. So 
I'll just give you guys a general look at them. If you guys see a red tag on the shoe, they are 25% off. And Foot Action has a lot of really good shoes for a 25% off. Like, check these out. We got the triple black Air Max 270s. We also have the uh, the orange Just Do It collection uh, Air Max 270s also. And uh, yeah, pretty pretty solid stuff overall. Here's a look at the, uh, the Air Maxes. And then we'll take a look over at the Hirachis and the Prestos over here. Yellow and black Cortez. Okay. And the back has some like extra stitching. It looks like they did a little uh, little off-white inspired Nike Cortez here. That's different, that's different. Here's a look at more of the uh, Nike sportswear sneakers, foam posits, and more of tempos. And then over here, they got the Air Force One lows. And uh, I like these wheat ones. They also got the uh, neon yellow utilities. Oh my gosh, these are super, super loud. I'm a big fan of these also. These are the Air Force One utility mids. And uh, I did the review on the low top. These, these are different. These are the Jester Air Force One lows. Lows. You guys can see it looks like they used to have the swoosh there, but they put him on the, the midsole right there. Pretty wild. We got the Nike Air tongue on the back of the shoe. The booty is falling off. It got droopy. It looks like it had a, a bad butt lift, but it, it did not get lifted, man. These these uh these gotta go back. These gotta go back. And this table right here is their $100 section. So we got some Air Max ones. We saw these in Foot Locker. They're like the automatic $100 Air Max ones. We got the black and gums as well. But this is surprising to see. They got the M2K Technos here in a lot of sizing. And they also have a different colorway here as well. This really reminds me of like an OG uh, old school retro colorway. All right, so we are done at Foot Action. And I have some news to tell you guys. They actually put away the Sesames and the Frozen Yellows. They are technically still sitting at the store, but they put them in the back because they just didn't want to have them out because they felt like if people really wanted the shoe, they would have bought them within the first week or so. So if you are hunting for the sesames or frozen yellows and you don't see them on the shelves for whatever reason, ask employees if they have them in the back. That way you can actually try and get a pair. They're not sold out. Try and get them for retail. So yeah, just a PSA. Ask the employees if they have the Yeezys in the back. Quick little stop inside of the uh, the van store, and these just came out. These are the I think sticker pack vans, and uh, these were actually designed by Ray Polanco Jr. And uh, this was a sneaker he made like a year or two ago, and they made two pairs. And vans like the concept so much that they decided to release them in a actual release. I'm actually tempted to buy these right now. How much are these going for? Seventy dollars for these vans right here. Hey babe, how do you feel about the uh, these ones right here? good summer shoes. Yeah. All right, now we're going to the final store in Scarborough Town Center before we head to Best Buy and uh, do some shopping for Natty. We have Adidas. So let's go see if they have them sitting. Oh, check it out. They have like a massive poster in front of the store. Yeezys available December 27th. So let's go inside and see if they have them. So we're in the Ultra Boost section right now. And uh, this is really, really a pleasing sight to see. They got the OGs. Do they have my size? What size is this one here? Size seven and a half. I'm gonna have to ask and see if they have my size. But they have the OG Ultra Boost. They got the cream chalks. Adidas gave me these too. So shout out to Adidas. So love you guys. They have these in a couple of sizes. So this is the spot you gotta go to get them. Got a bunch of Nikki runners for $80. 40% off. We got these things here for 50 bucks. That's like 35 US. And then here's a look at the NMD section. I'm a fan of these. But, oh, there we go. This is the colorway I really, really like. I'm looking forward to the Bape Drop that they're doing next month. This is cool. I guess they still have them uh, possibly for sale. Some semi-frozen yellows, just like the Foot Action, but these are on display, size 9. And uh, I guess they're ready to go because they have the boxes too. All right, so it's a success for picking up the OG Ultra Boost. They had them in a size 9.5 and a 10.5. I'm grabbing the 9.5. If anything, I can just take out the insole. So I'm very happy. The last time those shoes released, I was way too broke to afford them. I was working at Full Locker at the time and I even returned them after reviewing them. But now, now we're buying them and it's no issue at all. So I'll show you guys those at the end of the video after our small little discussion. So let's grab these shoes and get going over to Best Buy, do some shopping for Natty, and we'll meet you guys back at the crib. Oh yeah, and it turns out they do have some other sizes left for the uh, frozen yellows and they have quite a few statics left too. All right, so we're inside of Best Buy now and we're gonna get Natty's computer monitor. She's going with an Omen by HP uh, monitor and I've been looking at a new laptop too, but I think I'm gonna wait till next year. Ooh, they got a curvy one, a nice juicy curved monitor inspired by Kim Kardashian. Okay, okay. 380 open. bucks, the open, open box. The item costs more than it on sale, brand new. Feels bad, wow. So yeah, if you didn't hear that correctly, the used version costs more than the brand new version. That's something you'd only hear at like GameStop. 
laptop, but a Best Buy computer monitor. So while Natty is looking at the uh, the monitors, I just wanted to show you guys how beautiful these computers are. Oh my gosh, this is so, so pretty. When I come back from Japan, I'm gonna start streaming again over on Twitch. So follow me on Twitch, it's twitch.tv slash sneakertalk, C-A, and I'll be playing some games of Overwatch, hopefully with Natty as well. I don't think she'll be streaming right away, but we're gonna play some fun games, and if you guys wanna join us as well, you can too, so follow us. It's twitch.tv slash sneakertalkca. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys over on Twitch in January. All right, so we made it back home, and now it's time to show you guys today's pickups. We got the two Yeezy Statics right here, so I'll take out my pair. Oh my gosh, I'm excited to see these again in person. And then we actually got my sister a pair too, and I'll be making a video with her, um, and that's gonna go up later today. Um, so if you guys wanna see what my sister's reaction is like when she unboxes her first pair of Yeezys, make sure you guys subscribe, hit that red button down below. And then we also got my Ultra Boost pickup, which we're going to uh, talk about and vlog about um, when we uh, show my sister or unbox my sister's Yeezys in that video. So we'll do these together. It'll be a brother versus sister sneaker pickup battle, so that'd be pretty fun. And uh, yeah, now let's get to these Yeezys right here. I'm really, really excited to get these in person. I got them just in time so I could bring them to Japan with me as well to get a lot of wear out of them. And oh my, here we are. Here we are, boys and girls. These are looking real real fresh really really nice I really like the translucent uh, panel right here I guess it's a swoosh you could say really really nice sneaker I absolutely love these some of you guys might be wondering is it worth it are these Yeezys worth it I know there's a lot available right now and honestly I gotta say they are if you're looking for a shoe that you can wear pretty often this is a sneaker I feel like you'll be able to get a lot of wear out of and it's very very unique this is the first time they've ever done a Yeezy like this and uh, the fact that you can buy them, they're, they're readily available at most stores. I mean, yeah, if you can afford it and you can justify buying it, totally go for it. So yeah, I bought a size 10 pair here and I actually bought two more size 10 pairs online. So if you guys wanna give away, smash that thumbs up button down below. Let me know what you guys think about the statics um, about them being an easy cop. You can literally walk into pretty much any store in the mall and buy these. So let me know in the comment section down below and of course include your Instagram username as well. With that said, I'll catch you guys in the next video and uh, yeah, have an awesome day. Peace out.